In this video, we're going to look at calculating quartiles or percentiles in general. We're especially interested in the first quartile and the third quartile so we can talk about the interquartile range. We're also interested in the five number summary, which is a simple, easy idea. You want to know what the minimum value is, what the maximum value is, you want to know what the median is, and you want to know what the first and the third quartiles are. Essentially, those five numbers divide the data set into four essentially equally sized pieces with the same number of observations in each one of those pieces. So it seems like a simple idea, but it's a little bit more complicated than you might imagine. Here are some important facts. First, there are many methods for calculating Q1 and Q3. Secondly, the, the different methods don't always produce the same results. These differences are more pronounced with small samples, uh, with small sample sizes. So if you're using a method different than mom is, then chances are your results will be different. R itself has nine different methods for calculating uh, quantiles. Other software packages like Excel, Minitab, SAS, uh, your TI-84 calculator or 83 calculator, all of those, many of them have more than one method for calculating quantiles and their different methods sometimes produce different results. When the data sets are small, then you can use COSAC's methods for, uh, for calculating quantiles and her methods, her by hand methods, will always agree with mom. But really when we're writing a report or something, the key ingredient is that you need to explain to your reader what method you used. And you'll probably use, be using one of the methods in the software package. Especially important for you to explain to your reader uh, the methods that you are using. So let's take a minute and look in R at some ways that R calculates a five number summary. We're going to look at, at a function called five num that produces a five number summary. A summary, which actually produces a five number summary as well. Quantile, by default, gives a five number summary. And we're going to look at how we can change quantile to use different types. Actually type 2 of uh, the nine types that R uses, type 2 and 5num summary are the two that agree with the problems in MOM most often. When we run this script we see the results of some of these events. For example, the 5 number summary just list the five numbers that are in the five number summary. 11 is the minimum value. 43.5 is what it estimates to be Q1. 46 is its estimate for uh, the median. 51.5 is Q3. And 59 is um, the maximum. If you ask for summary, then it gives the output like this. It tells you what the minimum is, the first quar uh, quartile, uh, the median. The, it also gives you the mean, so it gives you six numbers here instead of just five. The third quartile and the maximum. Notice that these results uh, did not agree. Look at that second quartile. They found two different values in that second quartile. Um, quantile, by default, gives you the, the uh, 0th percentile, the 25th percentile, which is the same as a, the first quartile, the 50th percentile, which is the same as the median, the 75th percentile is the same as the third quartile, and of course the 100th percentile, which is the same as the maximum. And notice that in this case, Quantile is agreeing with summary, but it's not agreeing with the five number summary. Uh, if you do quantile with a type 2, 
which seems to be the type that agrees with mom most often. Then you'll notice that uh, quantile with type 2 agrees with the five number summary. Those are the two that will give you the best answers as far as mom is concerned. Here's the point. There's lots of different ways, methods, that are used regularly by statisticians uh, for finding percentiles. The important thing is that when you're writing a report, you need to, uh, to give the best, you need to explain to someone how the methods that you are using um, in that report. And finally, if you're trying to use R to give you results that agree with what my open math is asking for, then the five num function, the quantile with the type two option, or an interquartile range with the type two option, are probably most of the time going to give you results that agree with mom. Okay, that's the, those are the facts.